good morning my dear students how are you all i hope you all are safe and secure stay home stay safe welcome to today's english class today we are going to start our second unit social issues we have three readings reading a oliver ask for more reading b the cry of children poem reading c reaching the unreached today we are going to start a reading a lesson oliver ask for more it is written by charles dickens so before entering to the lesson children once read the saying given below home is the happiest place in the world isn't it what does the sentence mean this sentence means that there are many places in the world that can give happiness among all the places home is the best home is the safe st safest and the happiest place in the world one can feel secure and happy at home among one's family i think so you all stay very happily in the home but coming to the lesson here is the story about an orphan named oliver so let us come to the lesson about the author charles dickens 1812 to 1870 is a well known english novelist due to his father's imprisonment charles left school and worked in a shoe factory while he was working as an office boy he launched his writing career his novels oliver twist great expectations pickwick papers bleak house a tale of two cities and david copperfield brought him name all over the world he went on lecture tours to america and got literary reputation he focused on social issues and human ailments in his work this is an extract from the novel oliver twist written by the british novelist charles dickens 1812 to 1870 it is the story of an orphan boy named oliver who is brought to a children's home this is an extract meaning of extract passage that has been taken passage that has been taken from the novel oliver twist so it is an extract passage taken from oliver twist which is written by the british novelist charles dickens it is the story of an orphan boy meaning of orphan a child whose parents are dead so who is an orphan in the given story oliver who is brought to a children's home so or oliver was brought to a children's home mr bumble walked on with long strides little oliver firmly grasping his gold laced cuff trotted beside him so mr bumble walked on with long strides meaning of strides long steps so mr bumble walked along with long steps little oliver firmly grasping his gold laced cuff trotted beside him so slowly firmly grasping taking a firm hold his gold laced cuff so he is taking the gold laced cuff trotted beside him he ran and walked fast taking short quick steps so back back of him who is coming back of mr bumble oliver is coming fastly taking the short quick steps who so who is following whom oliver is following mr bumble oliver had not been within the walls of the workhouse a quarter of an hour when mr bumble informed him that the board had said he was to appear before it forthwith so oliver had not been within the walls of the workhouse a quarter of an hour fastly itself he came back of mr bumble when mr bumble informed him that the board had said to appear that the board had said oliver to 
appear meaning of appear to be seen so board here the meaning of board i'm going to mention you afterwards so the board informed oliver to appear very fastly before its fourth fit so meaning of fourth fit immediately immediately the board informed oliver to appear to be seen in the board not having a very clearly defined notion of what a live board was oliver was rather astonished by this information and was not quite certain whether he ought to laugh or cry so nothing having a clearly defined notion meaning of defined notion clear idea so oliver is not having a clear idea about what a live board meaning of live board board with life living of live board a board with life was oliver was rather astonished meaning of astonished very surprised he was very surprised who is surprised there oliver was surprised to see the no he is not having a clear idea of live board and was having the information to come near the board and was not quite certain whether he ought to laugh or cry he couldn't understand that whether to laugh or cry he had no time to think about the matter so who is he in the given lesson oliver oliver had no time to think about the matter mr bumble asked oliver to follow him into a large white washroom so where did bumble asked oliver to follow oliver to follow him to a large white washroom so who were there in the white washroom where eight or 10 fat gentlemen were sitting round a table so who were sitting there you can see in the picture who were sitting there eight to 10 members were sitting round the table you can observe in the picture at the top of the table seated in an armchair rather higher than the rest was a particularly fat gentleman with a very round red face at the top of the table you can see at the top of the table seated in an armchair so a person who is seated in an armchair rather higher than the rest other more other than others he is sitting little bit higher was a fat, particularly fat gentleman he so how is he looking that particular fat gentleman with a very round red face bow to the board said bumble so what did bumble say to oliver bow to the board meaning of bow move one's head or to the top half of one's body forward and downwards as the sign of respect as the sign of respect he told to bow to the board oliver brushed away two or three tears that were lingering his eyes and seeing no board but the table bowed to that so immediately oliver brushed away brushed away means dropped oliver dropped two or three tears that were lingering his eyes meaning of lingering exist somewhere so he is going away some 2 to 3 tears were there in his eyes so way he is lingering in his eyes and seeing no board but the table bowed to that so he is unable to see the people on the board just he bowed to the table what's your name boy said the gentleman in the high chair so the person who is sitting on the high chair asked what's your name boy oliver was frightened at the sight of so many gentlemen which made him tremble so who was frightened there oliver was frightened meaning of frightened afraid oliver was frightened he was afraid he was fearing fear he was feeling fear at the sight of so many gentlemen suddenly he st- he was he, he was feared so frightened because by seeing all the gentlemen which made him tremble meaning of tremble shake in a way you cannot control because you are very much nervous whenever suddenly if you you the children whenever suddenly if, see, if you see a lot of members you feel little bit of tremble in the same way oliver also feeling little tremble by seeing all the persons the beadle gave him a tap on his back with his cane which made him cry the beadle meaning of beadle a minor church official a minor church official so he gave him a tap meaning of tap hit somebody quickly and lightly so he gave him a 
cap on his back with a cane so you can see the person having a cane in his hand he gave a big tap on his back so immediately who started crying there oliver started crying boy said the gentleman in the high chair listen to me so who the person the gentleman who is sitting in the high chair said boy listen to me you know you are an orphan i suppose so he is telling to oliver oliver that you are an orphan what's that sir inquired poor oliver so poor oliver don't know the meaning of orphan so he inquired meaning of inquired asked for information from someone so he is asking the information about what is an orphan the boy is a fool i thought he was said the gentleman in the white waist coat so the person who is sitting at the top said that this boy is a fool so one of the gentleman said that this boy is a fool because he don't know the meaning of an orphan i thought he was said the gentleman in the white waist coat the person who is having the white waist coat meaning of white waist coat a piece of clothing with buttons down the front and no sleeves that is often wore over a shirt and under a jacket as a man's suit as a man's suit hush said the gentleman who had spoken first the person the gentleman who had spoken first told hush meaning of here hush used to tell somebody to be quiet to be quiet or to say or to stop talking or crying so who is crying there oliver is crying so he told oliver to stop crying there you know you have got no father mother and that you were brought up by the parish weren't you so he asked oliver that you have got no father mother and father you have no father and mother and you were brought up by the parish meaning of parish a church committee isn't weren't you who is asking the question to whom gentleman is asking to oliver that you were brought up by the uh, parish isn't you weren't you yes sir replied oliver weeping bitterly so weeping bitterly what did oliver say that yes meaning of weep to cry bitterly in an disappointed way oliver started crying what are you crying for so the gentleman who was sitting there asked what are you crying for inquired the gentleman in the white waist coat the so the person who was sitting have who was sitting in the white waist coat who wore the white waist coat asked the gentleman what were you crying for i hope you say your prayers every night so he asked that you pray every night said another gentleman in a gruff voice another gentleman asked oliver that you say your prayers every night in a very gruff voice meaning of gruff rough voice meaning of gruff a very rough voice and prayer for the people who feed you and take care of you like a christian so he says that you say prayers for the people who take care of you who feed you so isn't it yes or no he asked the question to oliver yes sir stammered the boy so who is the boy oliver gave the reply yes sir in the voice stammered meaning of stammered spoke with difficulty he meaning of stammered spoke with difficulty he gave the answer yes sir well you have come here to be educated and taught a useful trade said the red faced gentleman in the high chair so the red faced gentleman said to oliver that you have come here to be educated and taught a useful trade so you will begin to pick oakum tomorrow morning at 6 o'clock added the surely red in the white waist coat so he asked he told that you have to pick or come tomorrow morning at 6 o'clock meaning of or come loose fiber obtained by untwisting and picking apart old ropes you can observe in the given picture oliver bowed low directed by the beadle and was then hurried away to a large ward 
were on a rough hard bed he sobbed himself to sleep so poor oliver bowed low so he bowed slowly directed by the beadle so who is the beadle here a minor church official told him to bow in front of the live board so when he oliver bowed and was then hurried away he went away to the large ward where on a rough he is having a hard bed he is having a hard bed he sobbed himself to sleep meaning of sob to speak while you are crying so he started crying bitterly and he himself went into sleep poor oliver as he lay sleeping unconscious of everything around him the board is taken a decision that would change the course of his life so poor uh, oliver has started crying crying he lay into the sleep he felt unconscious and he don't know what was going around him meanwhile the board took the decision that that would change the life of oliver this is part 1 of oliver as for mo let us go through the glossary once again my dear children read the glossary thoroughly that makes you to understand the lesson very clearly meaning of extract passage that has been taken meaning of often a child whose parents are dead meaning of strides long steps meaning of grasping taking a firm hold meaning of trotted ran and walked fast taking short quick steps meaning of board a group of people who have power to make decisions and control an organization meaning of appear to be seen meaning of forth with immediately meaning of defined notion clear idea meaning of live board board with life meaning of astonished very surprised meaning of bow move one's head or to the top half of one's body forwards and downwards as a sign of respect brushed away dropped meaning of lingering exist somewhere meaning of frightened afraid meaning of tremble shake in a way you cannot control because you are very nervous meaning of beadle a minor church official meaning of tap hit somebody quickly and lightly meaning of parish a church committee meaning of enquire ask for information from someone meaning of waist coat a piece of clothing with buttons down the front and no sleeves that is often worn over a shirt and under a jacket as part of a man's suit meaning of gruff unfriendly meaning of stammered spoke with difficulty meaning of hush used to tell somebody to be quiet to stop talking or crying meaning of weep to cry meaning of bitterly in an angry and disappointed way meaning of oakum loose fiber obtained by untwisting and picking a part old ropes you have a picture in the lesson also meaning of sobbed to speak while you are crying coming to the comprehension answer the following questions let us see to the first question how did oliver feel when he was asked to appear before the live board how did the oliver feel children first of all oliver had no clear idea of a live board he was rather astonished by the information he was not quite certain whether he ought to laugh or cry he couldn't understand whether to laugh or cry because he had no clear idea of a live board second question why did oliver tremble and cry in the white washed room why did he cry children in the white washed room oliver appeared before the members of the live board 
he was frightened on seeing so many gentlemen in the room the beadil gave oliver a tap on his back with a cane so he trembled and cried in the white washed room clear coming to the third question what is that sir inquired paul Lu oliver what does that refer to what does that refer to that refers to the word or fan what oliver means is that he doesn't know the meaning of or fan write the given glossary and comprehension question answers in your classwork and send it to my given whatsapp number thank you